Hello, Jesse Good here. Today I'm reviewing the LEGO Star Wars First Order Transport Speeder Battle Pack from summer 2017, which has 117 pieces, four minifigures, and retails for $15 in the United States. Got this from Amazon, now let's take a look at the minifigures. Here is the First Order Stormtrooper. They give you two identical ones in the set, but they do give you some material to kind of switch out their equipment. This one just has a stud shooter, and you can shoot it this side, pushing down like that. It's a nice back torso printing, and this is the same one they've been using since 2015, which is good because this is like the quintessential army builder. I mean, stormtroopers in general are just army builders. Underneath you have that face print. Now to switch up the equipment, they do give you two sets of these shields and these little batons, so you can make your own trader. And uh, I do love the shield printing, which has this nice kind of design with the print right there. And that is an exclusive piece only to the set, and it's cool to get two of them in this one set. There's also this First Order Flame Trooper, which has only been in more expensive sets, so it's nice to get this in a little cheap set. Uh, same printing and everything as it was since 2015. Nice design for this back part as well. And just like the Stormtroopers, he has the angry clone face underneath. And the design for the back torso can be seen once you remove all this. And you can see the print on the back right there. And then this First Order Officer has an exclusive dark blue torso as well as an exclusive uh, printed hat right there in dark blue. I think my printing on this emblem's a little bit off to the right. Now his face is just the same, I guess Superman or Lex Luthor face. I don't remember which one it was from 2012. And you got some nice back torso printing right there. So here's the first order transport speeder. And you know, for a battle pack build, I think this is one of my favorite battle pack builds. I mean, it's nothing I'll really remember, but at least it has a consistency to fit in with the other first order like vehicles because it looks pretty sleek. I like the use of these uh, front parts for the windows or windshields, whatever you want to call them. And they basically use these triangular pieces that have only appeared in this color in some LEGO Dimensions pack. So that's pretty useful. There's also lots of parts to hold weapons and, uh, you know, artillery. We have this little holder for both of the shields on both sides, the holder for the batons. You also got some more little parts to clip on some of the guns if you'd like. Uh, this little part right here so you can maybe clip on the first order officer's gun because he can't really hold it if he's driving. You just kind of put that right there and you can move that up and down. I also like how they use kind of these wheel frames. I believe they've used this piece for that before and they use it as almost like an engine. I think those are kind of cool. And uh, other than that, I mean, the front design has one of those printed pieces, which I can't believe they're still using because that's from OG Lego Star Wars. Like I had that back in the day, uh, but they're still using that front, which is pretty nice. And like I said, there's really only room to fit two minifigures. So maybe it would have been cool if it was a little bit bigger, but uh, yeah, still quite a nice build. And I appreciate them putting a little bit more effort into these battle pack builds. But that's it for the build, and now let's go on to the packaging and the final verdict. So here is the box for the set. Nice box size that they usually use for battle packs. And we have some little designs on the back. Here's the instructions. The back show an advertisement for LEGO Life, which they're really pushing. And also this part right here shows a nice kind of uh, look at the Summer 2017 sets and a checklist of some of the Summer 2017 minifigures. So this Force Awakens battle pack, I think is much better than the last First Order battle pack. Now, the design of the build is actually one that I like for once. Usually with these battle packs, I don't really care for the builds, but uh, this one's interesting enough. I like the use of the translucent kind of corner pieces or triangle pieces right there, which have only really appeared in LEGO Dimension stuff. And the build itself is something I could actually display, you know? It feels like something they put a lot of effort into. It's a little speeder. And then the minifigures of, of course, why people are buying this. Finally, a cheap way to get regular First Order Stormtroopers and two at that. Because I think last time it was just one regular one and then one heavy artillery one. And then you get a flame trooper in a really cheap way as well, which those are kind of hard to get. Those only come in more expensive sets. And an exclusive minifigure with that first order officer in blue, which I think is a great color on him. So all that considered, I think it's a good battle pack. It's nothing that will stand out. I mean, there's no amazing minifigures in it. It's just, it has a cool exclusive one, some great uh, harder to find ones that you want to army build with. So I'll rate this set a B plus. I think it even has a good build. So that's really it for this battle pack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.